been doing on your uh, quarantine life? Uh, I have been doing things like my mom just called. <laughs> well, oh, did she? <laughs> She's like, let me in. I want to <laughs> join. Um, oh yeah, she I tried to be in. bitch. She's probably gonna call three times in a row. I love it. I love it. I've just been cleaning, <laughs> like cleaning, organizing. Yeah. Um, I've been working on things that like I haven't gotten to work on in a long time, which is kind of cool because you're like, okay, can revisit this project. Um, totally. But other than that, like I did a makeshift lounge outside so I could get some sun yesterday. And <laughs> how's the weather right now? <laughs> it was uh, 90 degrees yesterday, and then it was hailing this morning, and we're on severe thunderstorm watch. So what? Uh, Oklahoma. Yeah. It's like sunny and nice here. It has been raining and kind of weird, but it's sunny and nice right now. Yeah, so. and you guys are completely on lockdown? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I think that this is, like, we're almost done with week two of it. Oh, my gosh. We finally got shut down a couple days ago. It took us that yeah, long. Yeah, no. In, in California, it's, like, lockdown. But it's kind of weird because I don't think people really know what it means. Yeah. Like, okay, you're on lockdown. You can't leave your house. But then, like, you go and every restaurant's open for takeout. Or, like, right. you could really do it, like, anything. Yes. You just start kind of bored I guess that's you know? where I'm like I'm just bored I'm literally just like because I'm a very like let's do this I'm very right 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 right, right. So this is weird. right but um, the, the, okay. someone said Delaware's on lockdown till May 15th that seems like forever that I'm, seems like that just made me anxious like I'm just a like, long like, time like oh that's my god I, don't know. I need to get creative it's weird that. how it's different like state to state how everybody has different rules you know yeah yeah yeah, super no, it's weird. super weird. I think we should all just get on the same page, knock it out, and then go back to normal. Hey, uh, did you see that OU Florida 17 inning game is going to be on TV this Sunday? Sunday? Yes, I'm pumped. It's going to be on ESPN so 2 on Sunday, and then it'll be on ESPN U on the following Wednesday. So it'll be on oh, twice. Perfect. And then you guys just did a podcast. You just like put the yeah. podcast out, right? I'm gonna watch yeah, it. and we're putting out the brackets this week for the greatest hitter of all time. I got Whoa! more. Whoa! is a one seed for sure so wow, that's there's crazy. a battle though is the greatest slugger of all time you or stacy that's a i mean i know stacy's my greatest slugger of all time. you know what i mean like <laughs> her and bustos like i was like those yeah are my, those are no my i think that slugger. like bustos wins all time like with olympic yes. stuff but then yes. she only had yes. two years of like jc stats so yes. she's on the bracket but on the bracket i think she's like a six seed or something yes. like that like she's not a high seat which is totally right. fair because yeah. her college stats yeah no but. it's um that'll be an interesting one there's i've been seeing a lot of the brackets that have been coming out just by people getting bored and they want to do brackets yeah I'm like, i think it's great i think for, it's... they did an ou bracket and they matched me up with adrian peterson and i was like you can't do that like you can't they, they did they seated me at like seven and i was like you guys suck <laughs> they did wait were there any female athletes higher than you um well, Patty Gasso was seated at two. She was a two seat on the other side of the bracket. I wanted to ma I wanted to match up with her so bad. <laughs> I was like, dude, coach. Oh my god. Like gosh. match me up with coach. She was a wait, you were a seven seed and she was a two seed? Uh-huh. I don't know. I don't know if I agree with that. PG. It was it was by an outside source of OU. So I was like, if it was anybody that was like directly correlated with the university, I would have been very upset. And I would have been on the phone. <laughs> Outside source. So was, Outside source was. is not credible. I was like, is it, is it someone in the Gasso family? <laughs> right, right. <laughs> oh, my God. Just Did kidding. Just kidding. I'm bringing my dude over with me. He's oh, gosh. Look at this man. Um, okay. He, so he's a, he looks like a stud. Huh? He's a. Hunk of yeah. Chunk. He's a big boy. Um, yeah. Okay, so we want to do. I want. I want to do some of these rapid fire questions. Okay. So actually, I I printed them out. <laughs> you printed them? I better pull them up on my computer. <laughs> I, I printed out Julie's. I printed out Julie's uh, email. Um, oh my god. Okay, I'm opening it. Uh, um, rapid fire. Okay. No, it's a, and we don't have to. We can actually just both answer the question. We can just okay. answer it. So I'll like I'll bring it up and then we can both answer. Okay. It. Um, texting or talking. <sighs> I think there's a time and place for both. Yeah. <laughs> I'm I don't know. It's like, if it could be texted, just text it. <laughs> well, I mean, have you heard my voicemail? No. My voicemail literally says, I won't listen to this. Please text me your email. <laughs> <laughs> You're kidding. 
kidding. Oh my god, epic. You gotta call me after this just no, so I can that's ignore great. like <laughs> you're if you're at this point, just hang up. <laughs> yeah, fun. like oh. I'm not listening. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um what's your favorite day of the week? Gosh. I really like Mondays. Like I like the start of a week. I really yeah. do. And Oh, Sundays at home, like when you're not traveling. Yes. Or you get back like a day early from traveling and you have yeah. Sunday at home. I like that yeah. day. What about you? I don't think I've ever. I, yeah. You know, we don't get Sundays at home where it's just I know. like, it's like a freaking miracle if that happens. Right. Um, right. I would say like slow Saturday mornings. Like if I don't have mm -hmm. anything, because there's like when you're midday Saturday and you're like, dude, we still have Sunday. Like I'm so yeah. happy about that. <laughs> yeah. I would say, yeah, what's your, Friday what's your Saturday morning go-to brunch if you're home? Um, what there's do you make? a place. Or you oh, go, or you home. go. So usually we like to go brunch, like just like a group of friends. Like we usually yeah. go somewhere. Um, but if we could brunch at Hatch and then go across the street to Top Golf and hit some golf balls, it's like that's a like perfect day. But I'm like a big eggs Benedict person. Ooh, I really like eggs Benedict. So eggs, you like savory over sweet? Um, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Me too. I'm not a huge sweet tooth. Not Me huge. either. It's probably why we have um, butts and legs because <laughs> give us the eggs. Give me the corn. <laughs> give me the bacon. I want the potatoes. <laughs> yeah. Like breakfast potatoes? Yes, please. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> you can Not have sauce put... on them or cheese. Yep, put it on. <laughs> oh yeah, they, like you want the whole thing? You want them loaded? Absolutely. Good. Yeah. Yeah. It's like I used to eat like that, and nothing would happen, and now it's just it's opposite. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm like, does it get worse every year? Like, this is terrible. <laughs> it does. Awful. I'm warning you. It does. It gets um, worse. This one's funny. What what sound does a seal make? Oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> what is it? Like? Oh, <laughs> arr, arr. <laughs> is that what it makes? <laughs> it's like, yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's like. Right? Arr, arr, arr. <laughs> It's almost as funny to see, like, the shape of the mouth, you know? Yeah. <laughs> like, can you do it without, like, can I make that noise without, like, uh, uh, no. Like, uh, uh, no, he can't Oh, do it. my God, that was funny. Uh, oh, um, why can't we tickle ourselves? I don't know. I've never no, thought about that. No, I was thinking that. about that. We can't tickle ourselves. That is so weird. Try to tickle your armpit. I'm trying. It's not. No, you can't. Yeah, it doesn't tickle at all. But as soon all. as someone touches you, it's. Yeah, you're like, ugh. That question stopped me up. Oh, that's weird. I haven't even looked at any of these, so I'm glad you haven't printed. <laughs> no, I know. I was like, oh, these are actually pretty good. Let's talk about our favorite part about softball. What's your What's your favorite part? Like, I know there's a ton, but if you could okay, like pick for... one when you were when you were playing. Okay, like when I was playing, I love like travel ball. I always felt like when you got to be with your friends on the weekends right like yes. i'm gonna meet my people like it's not your school people it's like yeah. your people like that you get to people. like compete with like that yeah. was my favorite as a kid and then like from a position specific thing as soon as i started catching i loved that i could see the whole field and like get the yeah. ball all the time like so from yes. a specific position thing what about you um i i think it's like when you stop playing you think about everything like you miss and mm -hmm. i miss just like the team camaraderie like in the batting cages like if you're just gonna like hit or if you're, mm -hmm. like, hey, we're just doing bp today like just the conversations that you would have while we were like hitting the crap out of the ball like it's just like right think about like we were just talking life and then we would talk about softball and then we talk about certain hitting things and then you'd go back to like, talking about life so it's yeah. just like, like when you were in high hitting. school coming to the workshop or to the warehouse yes. and, hitting, and we'd order pizzas Pizza. and then you'd go All hit some rounds do. and then come back <laughs> Those were like, I think, I think our group, like my class and then, I mean, you can even say it, all the firecrackers were so good because we like, because of that machine, honestly, first off, yeah. like the machines yeah. were great, but then just like, we would just hit and hit and talk and hit. And then you'd be so tired by the end of it, but you yeah. were like, talk, like slamming pizza, working on homework, but it was like, you were getting your work in. It was just totally. But then we'd have to roll up the carpets and everyone would be like, uh. Oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> Pay our dues. Yeah. No, I miss that. Ugh, I miss playing so much. Those are the days, though, because, again, it's like you could just, like, be real with your friends. But, like, yes. work on your craft. No judgment. Like, right. I don't remember anyone judging each other. Yeah. At all. No. Like, no. It was no. just cool. Like, go get your hacks in. Go eat some pizza. Have four pieces right. of pizza. Nobody's judging. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, 
back your third piece. We keep going. (laughs) Oh, better order another one. (laughs) Yeah. Um, Okay. And then on the flip side of that, what's your favorite part about coaching? Like just being on the, I love getting the chance to impact kids, like to really feel like what you say is changing someone else's life. Life. It's like the coolest thing ever. Yeah. No, I agree. I think it's, I think it's giving them like tools that you didn't have when you were that age too. You're For just sure. kind of like, I've created so many good bonds with so many players. Like I've just, totally. like, and you become like a, they're just as much a part of my life as I am of theirs. Like, oh, I, yeah. like I see them weekly and I'm like, for my girls at the facility, I'm like, oh my God, like you guys are like my family. Like I see you all the time. Right. So it's fun to kind of like, okay, if I'm not playing anymore, at least I can like share what. Right. That what you true. wish you would have been told or had yes. at that age. Yeah. Are you still doing lessons right now? Like, how's it going? I'm shut down. You're so, shut down? Yeah. I just what? have, like, for my girl, kind of like the online situation. Yeah. It's just checking in with them, like, once a week. Um, but it's pretty much shut down, like, because they'll come in and, like, those fines are heavy if you're not yeah. abiding by the law. I just don't want to try it either. We've had a lot of um, – California is obviously crazy. There's so many people and it's spreading so fast. I think Oklahoma, places like Oklahoma, like where it's smaller, people are really get really scared because it's like, it just spreads so fast and there's not that many people. So it's yeah. just kind of like, everybody's like, ah, like, no, we're good. We're staying home. And I'm like, hey, that's See, and I feel like this. it just keeps continuing to spread in California because people aren't even being that way. They're like, yeah. let's go out and party. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. It's, so I think weird. the faster that we just like do it, the then the shorter the last, then we won't be into like May doing this. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'm we've gotten like to... 80 questions about this Easton ghost bat. So Lauren, give us your opinion. The Easton ghost bat feels the regular one. Like, so there's a, um, a regular, like your youth bat or like your college level bat. And then you've got your professional level bat, which is a bit souped up just because we're using different balls. And I would say that the, ghost bat the ghost advanced is the closest to a pro bat on the on the college level or like the the high school yeah. level it's got so much pop i i i just couldn't imagine like if i was swinging that when i was playing just like crazy right it's so hot it's so hot and it's hot out of the wrapper and then my other yeah you don't need to break it in at all huh? no it's it's just such a smooth feeling i've been swinging with it in the cages um like a lot of my lessons have gotten it. So yeah. they felt really good about it. And then their other favorite part about it is that curved handle. So you're not, you know, I don't know if you remember when you would be hitting, like you would just hurt this part of your hand. Yeah. Yeah. And it was just you like, to that. get like black marks. Yes. On that part. Yeah. yeah. I still have calluses from it and it's a curved um, handle. So you're not really like stopping your power when you're moving through this. Right. It's just like a continuous, like force send. So yeah, it's that a makes sense. Bad. It's a really, really good I bat. haven't, I've literally, you know, like normally when products come out and you'll hear like good things and you'll hear not so good things. Like all I've heard about the ghost is how much everybody loves it. Yep. Like yep. everybody loves it. It doesn't matter if you're skinny, if you're bigger, if you're short, yes. if you're tall, if you're a lefty, if you're a righty, mm-hmm. like whatever age you are, like everybody loves it. It's yeah. Really it's cool. definitely living up to the hype, I would say. And I've seen yeah. the girls, it, it, the way that it comes off the bat is there's a huge difference. That's what I've heard. I, there's a couple comments about it cracking, like asking if it cracks. Like, I haven't seen any of them crack, but here's the deal. Like, bats do crack. Yeah. Yes. And I think that also to take a look at how people are caring for their bats is important. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, like equipment, we care about our gloves, but we're kind of like, oh, just toss the bat in the back, making mm-hmm. sure we're not leaving it out in the freezing cold car or, you know, doing things like that. But a lot of times, too, it's not a crack as much as it is like the paint chips. So, oh, so if you're right. also hitting, think about that. It could be a paint issue. So, um, but, but it's, it's about, it's equipment at the end of the day. It's not, you know, yeah, uh, you got to care for it. In, and yes. there's a good, a random tip is, um, if there is a paint crack, have you ever like nail filed it down a little? Uh uh-uh. So like you get a little nail file when there's just like the paint chip. Cause normally yes. it's like a little chip out and you just like file it and make it smooth. And then you don't know. It's there. Oh, perfect. Just like just. I did with my nails. Look at that one though. This this is terrible. Like it's really? literally like, like this. Look what how do grown they out. Expect from us? I it's it can't be good. The roots are gonna grow in. Obviously, pregnant. The Botox is not mm-hmm. there anymore. <laughs> <laughs> right. I'm like, dude, we need to get back to real life. Like, like really, we have to. 
Um, hey, talk, about, talk about your gear. I know that you've been, obviously, you're like huge advocate for your gear. It's incredible. Guys, what's the, what's this the gear, I know, I've been, getting, I've been getting some comments right now uh, yeah. through Easton about this gear. Like, truly, okay, the, what's crazy is that it's the first gear ever made specifically for a female body. Like, yeah. ever. Yeah. So other companies, because people will say, oh, no, they did it with another company. No, the company has marketed that it's female gear, and all they've right. done is shrunk it from yes. the men's gear. Like, yeah. they haven't yeah. built an entire it's just a smaller mold. version. Yeah. Yep. So this mold is completely, completely different. There's some really cool stuff as far as the motivation and inspiration inside. We antimicrobial the whole mask, so it helps breakouts. Which, like, hello, like hello. if you're if you're like a teenager, catchers <laughs> always had that problem. Like I, all of my catcher friends were always and, like, like ear all right, and ear, ear. Yep. like yep. Yep. where the mask hit you, and then. Um, super, super great knee padding. But I really, what I love about it is it doesn't feel bulky. Like yeah. even though it kind of looks like you're the Terminator or you yeah. know, you're like a stormtrooper, right. it doesn't feel like that because it molds to your body. Yes. And what I think is really interesting is like when I ask girls what their favorite part is, like a chest protector has never been my favorite part of gear ever. Mm -hmm. And a lot of girls will say the chest protector because it like wraps to their body. Like it fits yeah, their body. Yeah, like it's more like they're just, it, they're, it's them catching, not their gear. Totally. And yeah. when, I, when I see, like, when I go watch, say, like, because UCLA wears it, right? So, like, I go watch UCLA versus a school that doesn't wear it, and you look at both catchers, and one immediately looks way more athletic because the gear actually shapes their body. It's like a right. uniform that fits right. Yes, you know, when you have, like, exactly. a baggy uniform on and you just look, like, yeah. kind of frumpy? Yeah. That happens yeah. with gear, too. And it can't, like it's not comfortable. Suit. It's like a fitted yeah, totally. suit versus, like, not a fitted suit. Like, the fitted yeah. suit is good. <laughs> yeah. And a lot of people are asking about like the white gear. Truly, it doesn't get that dirty. It's like, I don't know what yeah. magic they put on it, but right. it's lasting for forever and staying like really white. It's pretty yeah. cool. No, that's good. I think it's, I think that's what I've been having the most fun, like with Easton, just in general, kind of like, you know, working on projects like in the future with, um, on defense and at our position. I know I was going to ask you, are you allowed yeah. to like say anything? I can't say too much, but there is a glove coming out. So it's, it's pretty much done. Um, but the fun part about it is explaining, you know, what I've dealt with, which is like what kind of what you did, like what we've dealt with in the past as far as gear has gone um, and the attention to the female athlete and that Easton has, which is pretty cool because at first base, like lugging a huge piece of leather around is just not the business. No. Sucks. And if you want like a really nice product, you're usually getting like a little heavier of a glove. And first so base true. Fits, like, it's kind of like catchers, like mitts, like first base fits are always, like, they're already so big and chunky. Right. But, like, I am still an infielder at the same time. Like I can't have this huge thing. So my last um, year, two years, I was using an infielders or, a, or an outfield glove at first base. Not even a first baseman's glove, huh? Like, no, I don't want to use a first baseman. It was just too clunky and yeah. just wasn't just too heavy, honestly. Like my it would weigh down my forearm so much that I wasn't really like able to get to things quickly. So Right. It's well and that's a, what's so cool. Yeah. I was I was literally about to say that. Like it's so cool what Easton's doing. And I know obviously like we we both represent their brand, but more than yeah. that, like we're two very strong personalities. And if we didn't believe in their brand, we would not be representing them. No, yeah. And, no. <laughs> like we just wouldn't. We're Straight not up. those people at all. Straight up. But no, what they're so doing good. for female athletes is incredible. Yeah. Developing products for us, made by us, suited for us. Like it's just so cool. And I know too, I know uh Morgan and Haley are gonna do something on here yeah. i don't know what kaylee has in the works but i know that morgan has some stuff in the works too so there's a yeah. lot of products that are coming out yes so yeah. exciting times. i feel like it's a constant car y'all should be i wish that they could see our group chats that we're in and that <laughs> are constantly popping off on ideas on like how to just keep easton on top it's great it's amazing like i know i'm sure a lot of people would have loved to be in that group chat 